channel. Waited long for the new videos? No more waiting. And without wasting any time, let's start this today's topic. That is layered architecture. Do you know? In iOS, the architecture is completely layered. It contains an intermediate layer between the application and the hardware. So, they do not communicate directly. The lower layer in iOS provide the basic service and the higher layer provide the interface and sophisticated graphics. So, we will see each and every layer in detail. Okay. So, our first layer is a Cocoa Touch layer. So, it is the topmost layer. It is mainly used for journal application management for bootstrapping our application in the background or working in multitasking type of environment. Likewise, all of our visual components are defined here like buttons, switches, tab bar components, etc. Even, do you know, view controllers and storyboards which we use for managing the various screens and the transition between those screens are found here. Also, the gesture and event handling, the advanced multi-touch gesture that is available in iOS can be found in the Cocoa Touch. So, this is our topmost layer. Our second layer is, guess what? It is media. So, the media. The iOS is a very media-rich platform which broad support for the variety of media types like quads. Quads is used for 2D graphics engines, API, and uh, for the 2D drawings, etc. Core animation. So, animation is really essential in iOS, right? So, to experience the animations, we use core animation framework. OpenGL, yes, it is used for mainly 3D visualization rendering or maybe for using or creating the 3D games. AV management, AV management, it is used for audiovisual record, playback, uh, editing, etc. Airplay supports. Airplay supports, what it does, it's for the streaming back to the Apple TV or we can do it through the Airplay and it supports all variety. This is media layer. The next layer is about core services. So core services, it's provide iCloud storage. iCloud storage, what is this? You can sync your data or take your data from anywhere, right? Grand Central Dispatch, multiple operations at a time if you wanted to use. You can use the GCD. In-app purchase, for a variety of the content, subscription, new features and services, you can got it from here. Data management, if you wanted to read, writing the databases, managing the complex graphs, you can do it from data management right foundation framework this is the data storage or the persistence or text processing data in time calculations all of this can be done in foundation framework and next framework is course os so they these are very low level the last one the last layer and this is provides a low level operating system task that can be performed here in this layer and for example, the security services, networking, threading, standard I.O., iOS input output, memory allocation, and everything. Okay. So this is all about the layered architecture. So guys, what we have learned today, we learned about the iOS layer architectures. There are four layers, Cocoa Touch, Media, Core Services, and Core IS. So for details, if you want, you can just... Uh, uh, stream the video once again and you can see it and if you have any doubt comment me on I will surely reply you back with all your comments and if you like the video do like do like it and uh, subscribe the channel okay don't forget that thank you for watching this video goodbye